All right, so this question is simple. They are saying for all x greater than zero and y greater than uh, zero, solve the simultaneous equation. So this one is simple. It's not something that we're going to spend a lot of time doing. Okay, so, um, so the first equation there we have two log y base two being equal to five minus log of x. So this is our first equation. I'm going to take this uh, log x base two to the other side of the equal sign. And then at the same time, I'll raise these two as a power of y, meaning I'm going to have the log of y to the power two uh, base two there. Then this log, when it comes to the other side of the equal sign is going to be plus log x base two being equal to what? Five. So when you're adding two logarithms, you have to multiply the functions. So I'm going to multiply x and y squared. So this is going to be log x y squared base two. And we say this is equal to five. So we convert this to exponential. How do we convert? The base still remains the base. Then this one is the power. And then we say this is equal to x y squared. So uh, two to the power of five, um, two to the power of five gives us 32. So we have x, y squared being equal to 32. So this is our first equation. And then the other equation will be gotten from the second equation there, which is um, the log of y base x being equal to negative three. So we convert this to exponential as well. So the base will still be the base, then the power is negative three there, and then it's equal to what? Y. So we can write this as, we can write this as, okay, let me just write it down. So we can write it as one over X to the power three being equal to Y. When you cross multiply, uh, we're going to have Y, we're going to have Y uh, X to the power three being equal to one. So this is a very simple question. So we can make um, one of these uh, variables as the subject. So I'll make, um, I can make X from the first equation. So this is my equation two. So I can make X the subject of the formula. I'm going to have um, X being equal to stage two over Y squared. I've made X the subject from this equation. So I'm going to replace this in this equation. So what is X I'm going to replace with? Um, yeah, I think, okay, let me make my work easy. Instead of making X the subject of the formula, in this first equation, I'm, I'm going to make X, Y the subject of the formula. I think that would do. Or even this one, the way I did it, it's, it's actually the simplest and maybe the easiest everyone can understand. So we're going to have, x being equal to um, 32 over y squared. So I'm going to replace it in this equation. So I'm going to have y multiplying by 32 over y squared to the power three is equal to one. So then from there, the other thing that we can do is um, um, we open the brackets. So we can say uh, 32 to the power three, and then this y to the power three, this y to the power three will be y to the power, will be y to the power six. So be y to the power six. And then we also have this other y there. And then we say this is equal to one. So this one y and that and one y there will cancel. And we're just going to remain with 32 to the power what? to the power three, and then everything over y to the power five being equal to one. So when we cross multiply, we're going to have y to the power five being equal to 32 to the power three. Yeah. So from there we can find the fifth root of um, then this, and then this side we also find the fifth root of that. So now the value of y is going to be, so this is uh, very simple. Okay, so I'm going to have the value of y being equal to, so 32 to the power three is, um, 
Okay, let me just try to use a calculator, but you can do it without the calculator. So we're going to find the fifth root of uh, three, two, seven, six, eight. Yeah, so finding the fifth root of that is going to be um, eight. So y is simply just equal to eight. So after finding the value of y, you can use one of these equations to find the value of x, or even just this same one here. So the value of x is then equal to 32 over um, y squared, which is eight squared. So this would be 32 over 64. So meaning the value of x becomes one over two. So this is how simple the question was. All right, so let's quickly uh, finish up the remaining two questions so that we, we know what to follow. I mean, so, so that tomorrow we can do, we can start uh, binomial theorem. So I want us to finish this tonight so that tomorrow we're gonna have binomial. All right, so binomial is a very simple topic and I believe we're not going to take long. It's a very simple topic, unless maybe the person is explaining to you is trying to make things complicated, but otherwise it's the simplest topic. Yeah. So we quickly move on to the next um, question. So I'm going to end the meeting. Make sure that you join using the same link in the group um, so that we proceed.